Hey guys, one level one boss guide series. Today we're gonna be tackling the boss centipede. This is probably one of the most difficult boss fights, especially in Agatha as well as the entire game's level. You will have to make sure that you have the arrow during the debate and if you're out of patience for this fight, you're gonna wanna make sure all the body of card members have lots of items, and hopefully after not too much time you'll be able to beat the boss. Alright, so diving right into the menu, we can look at our items, and we see that Sora has a Mega Potion, an Aether, and another Potion. Goofy's going to have a Mega Potion, and three Potions equipped. And then we're going to go over to Aladdin, who has a Mega Potion, and then four Potions equipped. That should be pretty solid to get you through the hardest part of the fight, which is the start of it. Sora is going to have the Jungle King, Inferno Band, and the White Fang. Goofy will have the Stealth Shield, Protect Chain, and Brave Warrior. And Aladdin will have the Sword, Protect Chain, and Fire Ring. Moving on over to abilities, Sora will still have Experience Zero and Dodge Roll. And then Goofy has nothing, but Aladdin has Croissant, Sandstorm Cheer, Treasure Magnet, Lucky Strike, and Jackpot. All its base abilities. Now let's hop into the boss. Alright, so starting off the fight, we're going to want to go ahead and use Arrow to get that little bit of defense, and then go straight in for the head of the boss. You're going to want to get in some aerial combos as well as some ground combos here. Hopefully you don't get hit by the head, you mainly just get hit by the little pots as they do a little bit less damage. If you get hit, make sure you just back up, and then if your arrow runs out, make sure you pick that back up as well, because if not, you have a good chance of getting one shot by the um, head or the tail, there's a chance that could happen, as well as just being double teamed by the head and the pots and it just pretty much ruining your day. If you have arrow, you get hit by the head and then a pot, you should be able to live both those hits and then be able to get away for another cure. So here, we're just kind of drawing him out, baiting him out. We don't want to hit him right away after he uh, splits up from the vases, as he can um, counterattack with the little white orbs around his antennas, and they do hurt a lot. Right there, you saw me not using arrow and kind of jumping while attacking while he was running. That's the best way to get off damage, as he's not going to be able to hit you during that, and you're going to be able to get a lot of hits in at once. So again, once he split up, I made the mistake right there going in for some attacks while he was still using his white orbs on his antenna, but you're going to back away from that. As you see, I didn't have arrow equipped, and he started attacking with his antenna, so I wanted to dodge roll all the way away, making sure to avoid those pots chasing after me. So now that he's linked back up and he's walking again, I'm going to try to get some more of the... Um, Aerial combos while chasing him. Unfortunately, I was hit by the tail there, but uh, Aladdin was able to potion me up after my first heal failed. After that happened, I want to make sure to get my arrow back up since I was getting hit a lot. Back away again, get a heal off, and then again, go after the head. Once he splits up back away, he might counterattack with his antennas. Once I find out that it's safe, I go in back for the jumping attacks. You gotta watch out for the pots though, or they, as they are pretty random and can attack you pretty much out of nowhere. So once he starts doing his walking motion again, we're gonna wanna try to get up all the way to the head and follow him as far as possible. He did counter react with the white antenna attack, so I did get hit, but I had enough MP to cure up, which is why we did bring one ether just in case we need to get our um, MP back up to get arrow equipped. Uh, you really shouldn't have to use an ether to get your MP uh, back up to use cure. If your MP is low uh, and you need to heal but not necessarily use arrow, I'd recommend using one of those potions that we brought. But right there, I was getting hit a lot and I knew he was lower on health, so I wanted to make sure I used that ether to go ahead and get that arrow back up. So it was just one less thing I had to worry about. Right here, I got hit, make sure I cure up. While he's trapped in that corner, we go ahead and get some more hits in. He's kind of walking away there, and we kind of trapped him in the corner and was able to finish him off. Uh, I hope he wasn't too difficult, and that you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.